Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today I am filming my 10 months on estrogen, technically anyway. <laughs> so I don't even know where to start. I think I read a list on my phone. Let's hope it's still there. This is my, oh also, this is my second time filming this. I filmed it once and I, I can't, okay, so I can't film after the time of like, like I'm pushing it right now. It's 3.40, I wouldn't film after 4.30, like when it starts to get dark. Mm. I look, I start to look really old after like, 4.30, so I'm really pushing it right now. It's 3.40. Not cute. So I haven't made an update in a few months. I took a break and it was good and now I want to come back because these are also like my favorite videos to film and also my most popular, so well, one of my favorites to film. Yeah. <laughs> I've started filming different stuff recently, so you should definitely try like watch that because I'm like sort of really funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I am officially Sammy Cole Crawford. I got my first name change. I keep my middle name because I like it. And I also got my F on my passport. This was like just a dilemma. Like it took forever. There was paperwork for the name, then paperwork for it. It was just like absolutely fucking annoying. So thank God I have my cousin and my mum to help me with that. Um, it was... It did take like two months maybe or longer. I don't really know. It took a while. <laughs> um, I'm really bad at paperwork, so thank God for them for helping me. Um, so yeah, I'll insert a picture for my shit blurred out because I don't want to like show anything. I don't want any people pretending to be me. So yeah. So I'm happy that start. I can go get my license now, which I it's just well overdue. Like if I am well overdue to get my license, so I now can go get it um, when I can be bothered. It I really need to get it. <laughs> I'm going to make this video very punctual. I'm not going to like ramble too much, hopefully. Um, let's go on to my dosage. So I, um, was it a week ago? Maybe around a week ago, I went up on dosage. Let, should I turn my heater off? Yeah, one second. So about a week ago, I went to my endocrinologist. I see him every, every six months. Yeah, so I got my new dosage. We checked my hormone levels and there's just like... Mm. <laughs> so he says to me, well, I'm going to double your spirolactone, which is a hormone blocker. I'm now on 200 milligrams of spirolactone. I was on 100, so he doubled that. And I did notice the effects from that. And um, But I am still on my 50 milligrams of estrogen. It's in a patch form, so I use, put two patches around my abdominum... Ab ab abdominal? Abdominal area, like every day. No, every... What am I saying? Ugh. I put these patches on my abdominal area um, two times a week. I just have one patch on, they last really well, and yeah. So he says he was going to double the spirolactone because he goes, my testosterone has not moved at all. <laughs> I should be on, on his levels, I should be at a 2. I'm at a 22. It's been, and he says it's been like this for like, since I started. So I'm sort of like, put like, taken back by that because I'm like, I've had all these effects, like, I have bigger boobs than, like, any trans girl I know. Like, I have had, like, I have really good boobs for a trans girl, so I'm really happy with that. But, like, I mean, I know this comes from the hormone blockers and the estrogen just in general, but I'm like, what am I going to start experiencing then? Because, like, I thought I was acing female puberty, and I, like, got through male puberty. I thought I was going fine through um, female puberty, but I was like... Oh my god, <laughs> like these months have not met it. I'm, I would technically say I'm at like my third month, not a tenth month. So I'm really like surprised by that. But then I was like, well, that explains why my acne has not really budged that much at all. Um, it explains, which I'm also on medication for that now. Um, it explains my libido. Like I'm still think about sex a lot, but that like... I felt like I did it when I first started and then it sort of like came back so like I'm happy it, it's already started to go away but like for a minute there it came back and I was just like really not about it um not like completely not you know like <laughs> like boys think about sex all the time like testosterone just does that to you but like for a minute there I was like it gone away and I had such a clear mind but it sort of came back for a bit but it's now just starting to go away again, so I'm like, thank God for that, oh my God. I was just like, you gotta be kidding me, like, I have been on estrogen for a long time now, probably, honestly, I think it's even over 10 months, I'm just, like, gonna take it back a bit because I haven't had the full effects that I should have experienced, so he says if this doesn't help, he says if this, um, if he, 
He says if this spirolactone doesn't work on the second dosage every month, I'm going to have to get an injection of hormone blockers in my system, I think. It's like the injection form as well as the pills. So I'm like, I hope this like finally takes it down because that's just like a thing that I'm not about, you know? <laughs> like, I, don't, I mean, it's fine getting an injection, but I'd rather not. Like, I'm fine just taking my pills like each day. I'm fine with that. Anyway, let's go into the next thing. So I'm going to have some weird shit going on in the next few months. I'll just say that. I sort of want to like, I don't want to be like 13 months because then people don't care, you know? I really want to dial it back to like those first months because that's really what's going to happen. Oh, so maybe like two months ago, like while I was on my break, was it maybe two and a half months ago? When I started my job, I, um, I got lightheaded like every five minutes, like all the time. And I know some trans girls that are like, oh yeah, I just used to faint all the time and I'm like, that does not sound like fun, like, especially at work, that's just like a thing that I wouldn't want to happen, but I mean, being at work, being like, ooh, like, really queasy, didn't feel sick, but, but just like, so freaking like, headed, um, I never fainted, felt close to it a couple of times, but that probably lasted like a month, and it wasn't even like when I went up on a dosage, it just sort of like, happened, like a little period, or like, when it just, I was like, real, <laughs> that's a thing to mention, I was talking about my mum with this yesterday, so, I was like, I feel like I almost, when I go off my dosage, I go through like a little mini period. Like, I was telling her and she's like, it happens to me when I have my period too. It's so weird. Um, when I go off my dosage, I start like making up scenarios in my head and then I get really angry at someone. Every time I go off my dosage, this happens. Like, I, I, yeah, someone will say something and then I'm like, ugh. And then it like eats away at me and I start like making up scenarios where they say stuff that's meaner and then I get really angry at like a certain person for no reason. Like just because in my mind I came up with them saying that and it wasn't even true. I can imagine there's a lot of you that can relate to that so don't act like I'm weird okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this next thing does play into this next topic, which is surgery. So I am officially 18. I turned, I had my party like two days ago, but I turned 18 like a week and a half ago. So that's something new and fresh and cool. Um, like that a lot. I haven't got out in town yet. That will be an experience. I feel like I'll have some story times. Of just, yeah, I can imagine it's just going to be an absolute shit fest. Like, I don't even know how to get into that. But yeah, anyway, um, I was talking to my hormone doctor. I was like, yeah, I'm also legally able to have surgery now. You know, I'm 18. What she said, in Auckland, there is a lady who has just arrived from overseas who is do now doing transgender procedures here. I also remember my um, psychic telling me too that I will be going up to Auckland for something in the near future. So I was like, mm -hmm. like when he told me that my stomach dropped. <laughs> But I, I was like asking like, do you know what surgeries they do? And he was like, um, sexual reassignment surgery and stuff like that. And that instantly I was like, oh, like I really, I feel like I'm such a bitch when it comes to surgery because I'm going to be so picky. Like with my face, there's like two doctors, one doctor, Dr. Spiegel, and then maybe Her Dr. Harrison Lee in Los Angeles. But they're the only two doctors I would trust my face with, um, especially Dr. Sp oh, Dr. Spiegel. Oh please fix my face. <laughs> but I, there was, there's not really a lot I would be willing to do here apart from maybe my breasts or like, no one really does Brazilian butt lifts here, but I don't really know if I would want to have SRS here. And also that's the last thing on my list. I know that's something that's going to be like really hard for me. I know SRS is going to be something that I'm going to find really hard to deal with because you're physically changing a whole, like your whole genitalia. Like it's, it's going to be a big fucking deal. <laughs> so that's really last on my list. I, I mean, I definitely want it done. Like, Oh, hands down when it's done, but there's other things that are more important, and I'm just like, I don't know what I'd be able to have done here, but he says, well, we might as well, you know, look at, next time I see him, we'll see what this doctor does, hopefully he finds it more, like, I just know overseas, there's just, it's so much easier, especially in America, like, finding out how to get, um, government funded surgeries, because there's really nothing like that here, like, at all, occasionally, like, SRS, which is done, like, like, some people are on the list for, like, 30 years, and I'm like, that, that's not going to be me, like, at all. <laughs> I intend to have my facial feminization in the next, like, couple of years at the longest. Like, I really want it done sooner than later. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tricky one. I definitely want to find out what this doctor does, find out what things I can get covered here. I wish instead of them, you know, like, you have to have the surgery here, I wish it was they could fund me a certain amount of money to put towards my savings to go and have it done somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Like, instead of, instead of having to have it done here, I would really rather go overseas, and I probably will, so. <laughs> my skin, so I really was just, like, completely over it, and I am now on isotone, also called Rowacatane. 
Um, I have been on it for almost two months now. Um, it definitely has helped a lot, but I'm on a very low dosage just because I was really scared and it dries you out. Like, I actually need to put on lip balm like every five minutes when I'm at work from the aircon and like it just dries you out, honey. <laughs> also, this is a thing now that I don't find I get misgendered for the way I look as much anymore. I think people just have an idea, but I find, especially more kids, that it, they, they clock me when they hear my voice. <laughs> Which is just, like, it's annoying and it does like really, you know, it does hit you hard, but, like, it's kids, you know, like, kids are curious, so, like, I can't really help that at all, um, but, yeah, I don't find I get really misgendered as much by just most people anyway, they either, like, just get it, or I uh, think I'm just, like, a bit more comfortable now, my hair's growing out a bit, so I feel more comfortable now when people say she and her, like, it just, it feels much more natural now, so, yeah. I don't know why on my list it says guys, like, I don't know why that's on there, but um, I, I do get like a lot of messages these days now as well. Especially this month I've gained like over a thousand followers on Instagram, but like every day I'm getting messages from guys, but I'm like... Mmm... No. I mean, I'm definitely someone who would rather meet someone organically, like in person. That's just the way I am, I don't like online, I don't know, I'm just a really bad texter and I don't know how people can flirt online, like guys try flirt for me online and it, 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 ugh, like when they just, when guys say like, baby, and like, <laughs> like I'm just not about like, no, <laughs> I need to see people in person, like I like human interaction with anything like that, so, yeah, no. <laughs> Nothing in that department. Now, on to the last thing. I always do this last, so use creeps that watch my videos just to see my boobs. Um, <laughs> I leave this till the end so you watch the whole video. I have had incredible amount of breast growth. I am so lucky. I mean, I'll insert some footage in a second, but I don't know any other trans girls really. Actually, no. I do know one girl. She's got really nice boobs, but, like, naturally grown from estrogen. I have gotten, like, so much. Like... <laughs> So much breast tissue, so I've been really lucky. I mean, not a lot, but like a, for a trans girl, like my boobs are gonna look much more natural than what I see out there. I re like my biggest fear was getting tennis ball boobs when I get implants, but like I don't even think I'll have that problem because so far they're looking pretty fucking gorgeous. So yeah, <laughs> but here are my boobs. This is a push-up bra that I just got the other day. It makes them look way better, but it's not like an extreme push-up bra, but it does make them look good. So yeah, this is what they're looking like. Definitely much bigger than seven months. Oh my god. Yeah, holy crap, the, the last like half that I've been on estrogen and um, spirolactone, like they have just like skyrocketed, is that how you say it, and growth, like yeah. I do find I, I am very in tune with my body, I think I know when I'm putting on weight and I know that I can also lose it really quickly. Um, sometimes I try to do sit-ups, like every night I try to do a hundred of them, just cause that's where my fat goes and that's where I can lose it quite quickly as well. I find there's some little areas that are real stubborn for my hips and my legs. My legs definitely have gotten more chunkier than what they used to be, but in a good way. Like, they're just more thicker. <laughs> so I can't wait to get a BBL. That, uh, that moved up on priority list from it's more important than my boobs now. That's like second. So, no, face, hips, boobs, vagina. And then teeth. And then, like, maybe my hairline lowered again, like, naturally. And then, like, maybe, like... <laughs> other things as well probably so and then my toes fix oh can't wait to be rich mm. no doubt i will be a little bit addicted to surgery i can already see it in a good way i won't go overboard i don't like the, like the naturally surgified <laughs> i can't wait to see myself in like 10 years and go like wow she was an ugly bitch. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of my video. I think that's all I have to really talk about. Anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around too since I haven't been like on the most like uploading regularly. But quality over quantity, isn't, isn't that right? Yeah. Anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Yeah.